Today, I'm gonna to make a neural net that knows how to play Minesweeper all by itself. No fancy rules, no pre-planned simulations, just a neural network learning to survive. Minesweeper was one of the first computer games I ever played. It came with every Windows operating system for years, so I got hooked right away. The combination of luck, logic, and even the board being different on every game was a great puzzle for me and for my AI today. You can't just memorize your way to victory when even the beginner board has 150 billion different possible layouts. This is probably why people are still playing it today. There's even a significant competitive scene for playing the game as fast as possible. Uh, after my last video, I wanted to try something that's a bit more interesting. So today, I'm going to throw our Minesweeper problem at a neural network. Neural nets are extremely interesting to me. As long as you can provide them enough training examples, basically matching pairs, they can learn just about anything, whether a human knows how to do it or not. And I'm not exaggerating. I don't know how the AI makes some of the decisions you're going to see today. I can't do those decisions myself. And that's either a little bit inspiring or maybe even terrifying. Probably both, really. Let's plug our Minesweeper board into our AI. I'm using a real Minesweeper game and everything is being read off screen. Now, on the other side of our AI, we want to predict where the mines are. Squares with a high probability of having a mine are in red, while safe squares are in black. That magic black box in the middle is our neural net. What makes neural nets so cool is that we don't really need to think too hard about this box. Sure, there are details, you can see my extra video in the description if you want, but basically we just need to give it examples of inputs and outputs. Now that we've got Minesweeper hooked up to our neural net, all we have to do is let the AI play a few thousand games at each difficulty, training the neural net as it goes. To keep track of progress, I'll throw the win rate and number of moves per game on screen. Let's take a look at the final performance and compare it to how humans typically do. AI has totally mastered the three standard difficulties of Minesweeper. I think we can go a little bigger though. Let's try a real challenge. This is the biggest board my computer could handle. So what's next for our little channel? Our Tetris AI is just about ready to start breaking some world records, so if you want to make sure you see that, don't forget to subscribe. 
If you want to support our channel, consider sharing our content on social media. It makes a big difference for small content creators like us when you do this. If you have any ideas for AIs that we should make next, throw them in the comments below and we'll see what we can do. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.